Well, this person has no mirror on their driver's side. That's not good. What up, guys? How you guys doing today? I just came out really quick to grab my breakfast. Super hungry right now. Let's see what I got in here. We got chicken and broccoli and rice. That's like my signature meal right there. I got this smoothie, too. But honestly, it's kind of garbage. I'm gonna finish it just because I got it, and I don't like wasting. But yeah, it's really not that good. Theo has not been moving at all. These past couple days, he's literally just been laying down the whole time. We've been trying to keep an eye on him, make sure that he's not licking that area that is, it almost looks like an ulcer. It's funny because Bella was actually trying to play with him yesterday and she would like hop around him trying to get him to just be playful. And it's a shame because obviously he's not going to right now. So we, we just started throwing the ball for her. He was chasing after that. He looks so sad. I'm about to give him some of my chicken. I got a little bit left over. You want some chicken, boy? You want to eat? <laughs> yeah, I know you want food. He's getting a little bit happy. Bon appetit, Theo. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> yeah. Now you're excited. Like you get it brought right to you as well. Oh my gosh. Two seconds later, it's destroyed. He's getting hand fed everything. He is absorbing this. He's loving it. Yeah. Belle, you just whacked him in the face. <laughs> oh. It hurts to walk up and down the stairs. I really messed myself up last night. I literally wish I had like security cameras inside of my house to be able to show you guys this instance. So I'm coming in from the garage. I completely jumped over the two steps because I just didn't feel like walking up them. So I was like, hey, I'm just gonna jump over it. I actually ran and jumped. And when I did that, when I landed, I guess the floor was really slippery. So I ended up slipping and I fell right on my right butt cheek along with somehow slamming my right kneecap. And it hurt super bad. Now it just hurts really bad to like walk up anything or even try to do like a squat. It's really weird though because I can run perfectly fine. It's only when the knee is bent and then I try to put pressure on it to straighten it out. I don't understand. It's probably just sprained a little bit. But I just got a call from Mike. He is stuck at the dealership right now. He's trying to get his car fixed because this whole entire like undercarriage fell off. I don't know what happened. So I'm gonna go pick him up real quick and then I think we're gonna hit the gym. And if you guys haven't already gotten the merch, get your merch. Link in bio. Lance Hutton. Com. We got the new limited edition line coming out next Thursday, which is Thanksgiving, November 22nd. Make sure to get that when that releases. It'll only be available from Thursday until Cyber Monday. You will never be able to get it ever again after that. But yeah, this is where I messed up my knee. I actually ran, stepped up on here, jumped over these two steps, landed on here, and slipped and fell. I actually got word back about my Audi R8 today. As you guys know, originally I had to pay $8,000 to get the car fixed from Audi itself, which is completely ridiculous. I'm I'm getting my buddies over at Car Effects to actually work on it instead. They're doing it for a lot cheaper, which thank God, because eight grand is just completely <laughs> ridiculous for that. Car was actually supposed to be done today, but we got a new rim from Audi. It was supposed to be the same exact rim as the one that we previously had on it, but they sent Car Effects the wrong rim. So now it's just prolonging it. I mean, I could go pick up the car today, but it's gonna look stupid when there's three rims that all match and then the one just doesn't. So I have to wait until I think Monday now to pick it up, but we should be good after that. Apparently everything is is fixed, which I'm very thankful for. Like I said, it could have been way worse than that. One of the most commonly asked questions is, which car do you like to drive more? The M4 or the R8? Now that's a very hard question for me to answer because they both have their ups and downs. For example, the M4 is much more of an aggressive car. The way it feels, the way it shifts, is just way more aggressive, like it pulls you a lot more and I like that a lot. The R8 is of course faster overall. It's not as comfortable to drive, so it's like, I don't really know. I love them both, they're both amazing cars. If I really had to pick one though, man, I, I don't really know. If we're talking about like long distance drives definitely the m4 because of comfortability the ra is just so dope though like i don't know that's i i simply cannot answer that question but yo 2020 when i get my new tesla ooh, that thing is gonna be insane the tesla roadster that's coming out goes zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds and over 250 miles an hour that's just like ridiculous very excited for that sucks that i gotta wait two years though i'm literally not buying a new car until then i mean look it's not like i need a new car anyway i have two amazing cars one is sufficient enough <laughs> hey, what up, bro? So your car's just falling apart? Uh, yeah. My <laughs> undercarriage broke. I have a check engine light on. I think my steering wheel power steering is messed up, too. Damn, man. Damn. That sucks. This is what Mike's car sounds like. <laughs> That's and his I, undercarriage I, scraping I thought the whole was, time. It was hilarious. And people were like, oh my god. Like, what is he doing? Like, giving you weird reactions? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> I was trying to record you, it was so hard. 
going over to Mike's right now. Brandon, this is his car. He's been sitting here for like the past, what, about hour now? He thought Mike's mom was home. He has to come and pick up a bunch of stuff from here, and she wasn't, so he was waiting till we got here. Hola. You cold, man? Oh yeah, that's the worst part too. He's gotta go to work like super soon. He's been waiting. Ben's pissed because he said he thinks he messed his car up. Bro, what's up when everyone's car is getting messed up? Mine got messed up, then Mike's, not yours. Dude, literally, I was driving it. Well, you know how low my suspension yeah. No, today I'm driving to the gym and I hit something and now every time I'm driving, all I hear is oh, Now it's your undercarriage. That was <laughs> <laughs> like, It's so annoying. Brandon just didn't want to admit that. This no. That's off. funny. I, I'm generally pissed off. See, Mike's going in. He's got to friggin' weigh it out and everything. How much rice he's putting in there? 200 grams. Try to make it to the dot. That's what I need to do, really. He's super strict. It's just very hard for me. I love food way too much. He eats six meals a day. That's his whole meal plan. That's wild, bro. Chicken and rice. Always. Go to? That's what I always go to as well. There's a truck revving too. <laughs> this guy just gave me the thumbs up. Another little update on Theo's behind. It's getting a little bit better. It's still pretty nasty looking, but uh, we've been trying our best to keep him away from licking. See? Like he's okay. trying to do it now. Okay. No, no, no. So as you guys saw, Lizzie's now was bleeding earlier. It's actually still bleeding a little bit. She had it wrapped in a band-aid. It's like hurting her really bad. She tried clipping it a little bit, mm -hmm. and she said it's making it feel a little bit better the shorter it gets, but She's like, because I'm not bumping it on as many things because it was longer, obviously. Yeah, so she's like really scared to do it on her own, so I'm gonna try and do it for her real quick. But then I'm scared again because, like, you're not gonna know when I feel pain. Like, well, I just we're gonna pick an area hmm. that's, Sorry, I'm cringing. that's good enough to clip. I think I might pass out. I feel it in my throat. Look, no matter oh, what, I, I know where it's connected. I see, but I'm not gonna cut down that far. Lance, I'm getting woozy. I'm gonna cut like halfway, <laughs> halfway of what's sticking out. Okay. <laughs> what? I can't just cut through your skin. You don't. <laughs> you gotta hold it straight. That's gonna hurt. You going like that? <laughs> anyway, it's gonna hurt. Three, two, once. Okay. What? Ow. That hurt? I didn't even do nothing. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Do you wanna do it? Oh. Ow, ow. It like lifts the nail. Yeah, I don't know what to do then. You do it. Ouch. I didn't even get anything. <laughs> yeah, you got like nothing. That hurt? Mm -mm. Robbing. I just asked Lizzie if there's like another way of going about this like if there's something that could help remove that glue on there She's like yeah, but it's gonna burn insanely because she is an open cut right now Yeah, that and like if when you go to get them removed they use like a little scraper to get off at least the salon I go to so uh, It hurts. Uh, you gonna keep clipping it? You just leaving it at that. No, but like look around the border of the blood Yeah, that's nasty. Lizzie just said you have no idea how bad this hurts, but I actually do maybe not I've never had a nail like uh, that before, but I've ripped off entire fingernails and entire toenails before. I've ripped off my entire big toe now when I was like seven years old. I, I feel like you haven't told me this. Yeah, I haven't. I thought you were going to say something else. What? It's disgusting. And it was just bleeding nonstop. What did you do? I was clipping my toenails. How do you take the whole nail off? Oh, you know what? I wasn't clipping it. I was picking it. I was like picking it with my fingernails. Seven-year-old Lancer. <laughs> yeah. Normally when you clip it, it's like straight and even. Yeah, when you pick it, it becomes uneven and you have like parts that are edged really weird. Well, anyway, I just kept pulling it and it just like ah! pretty much pulled the whole nail. Yeah, it's pretty ah. bad. Like, I, my legs feel like- I've done that to my pinky crazy. toe more than anything else. Mm. I've done it to my pinky toe probably like 10 times. I thought you were gonna say when you didn't know the pain of this, I thought you were gonna talk about your fruit ninja. Cause yeah. I don't know that. That's how my finger looks. Everyone always asks me about it. Normally my fingers bend this way, and then when you look at this finger, obviously the tendon shortens, so this bends down. Do the prying. Obviously. Me trying to make this, or even like this. <laughs> just looks so dumb. Rock on, dude! I always use this. I'm like insecure about using this hand to make that symbol. All right, so Ant just went out to grab food, and he just came home and said that there was so many cops right down the street, like two minutes from me. Apparently, there was this like, huge fight going on outside this restaurant. Le me and Lizzie just heard cops flying by me for like the past two minutes. So we're gonna go check it out really quick and see if it's still there. Still cops going. Hey, we gotta go. I'm trying to see what's going down. Who knows, this might be some entertaining footage. <laughs> There's a cop coming back this way. Oh my gosh, there is so many. Wow. I have no 
idea what's going on. I'm gonna circle back around. Actually, it's probably not the best idea to actually go that way, so never mind. Literally, the only thing that can make me think as to why there would be so many cops there is if somebody, like, pulled out a gun. I don't, I don't see why the entire police station is there for, like, a, a, a random fight. Yeah, and then I wonder why they took off like that after. Like, that's really weird. Yeah. All right, so I pretty much made an entire square. I gotta head back this way anyway to get back to my home. So we're gonna see if there's anything else. Oh my gosh, this car is too much torque. That's what I'm saying, like it just rocks back and forth. It just so happened to catch it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it does it every single day. Mm -hmm. I think they clear it out. Yeah, they clear it out. I have not opened some P.O. Box stuff in a pretty good amount of time. We don't have a time package, just we got a few, so we're gonna open them up right now and see what's inside. I used to do P.O. Box openings all the time, literally every single day. It literally got to the point where I was getting so many packages that I had to go every single day, and there would be like 20 to 30 packages a day. It was absolutely insane. The post office actually got really mad at me for having so many packages come there every single day that I had to then switch over to a UPS store. But we're talking about like two, three years ago. This is around the time the Free Ninja happened. This box is actually called a Bark Box. I'm assuming there's some stuff in here for the dogs. They're going to be very excited. We got a little comic here. Let's see if they come running down the stairs. I know Theo will. Bella will mine. Bella. <laughs> She come? <laughs> you know what's sweet to me? Okay. Where's your slipper? New toy. Oh, look at this. That's funny. It's like a little <laughs> hair dryer. <laughs> you like this one too? We got some treats. Ooh, more treats. We actually like just ran out of the dog treats and I was actually saying that we needed to get some more for them, so this is kind of clutch. Pig ear that they chew on. I would not chew on that. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much to whoever sent this. That was so kind of you. Yeah, it doesn't say a name on it. But she thinks everything's for her now. You're just waiting for something outside. <laughs> <laughs> Next package is from Tanya Plaza. Ooh, this is a placemat? I think it's for grandma. It's a turtle placemat. We got some mint candies, Skittles, Jolly Ranchers, Little Dim, Smarties. This package is from Kristen Kowalski. Oh, we got some candy here too. Some Kit Kats. Sour Patch Kids. Oh, my weakness. Reese's. We also got fan art. Lancer 10 and a bunch of different colored camos. Whoa. Oh, Theo and Bella. When Bella was a little baby. We got Bella and Theo. <laughs> Great artwork. Thank you. They got the LED flashlights. Thank you. That's awesome. I guess I can put this on my car. From Clive Sparks. Thank you so much, Clive. She's Please. still waiting. <laughs> Last up is from David Robinson. And I'm pretty sure this is some type of fan art, so I'm be careful with how I open this. Oh, that is awesome. They put a picture of me and the family on here along with two pictures of me and Lizzie. Aww. That is so cool. Thank you. Just to add to the walls down here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the new toys, Theo. Look at that. <laughs> you want a treat? You want a treat? It's a little dark right now. They're watching a movie. Good girl. He doesn't know if he wants it or not. What? <laughs> he picky. Oh, you're getting spoiled right now, girl. Licking his lips. Oh, like there you go. He's gonna eat that one now. All right guys that is gonna do it for today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to smash that thumbs up button Don't forget to turn on my post notifications Please seriously actually turn them on so you guys don't miss any new videos get that new merch coming out next Thursday November 22nd Thanksgiving and other than that. I'll see you guys next time. Peace